Let's get started assembling your Clavinova CLP525. As you can see, it comes in a good size box. It measures about 22 and a half inches by about 19 inches by about 56 and 3 quarters. The tools that you'll need are a Phillips head screwdriver and a box cutter. First carefully remove the packing straps. Then cut the box open. Be sure to watch out for the staples while doing this. Open the box up. And let's begin removing the contents. First, we're going to remove the backboard. You can slide off the protective styrofoam. and set this aside. Next we're going to take out some of the accessories. The power supply, the headphone hook, and the included assembly hardware. Remove the styrofoam end caps. We recommend having a partner to help you take out the piano section. Set that aside on top of the styrofoam end caps. Next we're going to remove the triple pedal section. It's at this point that we recommend taking the plastic covers off of the pedals themselves. Next, remove the assembly guide and songbook. This box is the piano bench. We'll get back to that later. Next, remove the box containing the side panels. Carefully open this.
Remove and unwrap each side panel. Now that all the contents of the box is removed, set it aside. Here are all of the components needed for assembly. Let's unpack our hardware. Power cable. And the AC adapter. Here is the optional headphone hook. And here are the screws needed for assembly. I recommend separating them by size for convenience later. And here's all the hardware. First, we're going to take the triple pedal unit, flip it over, and remove the tie from the cable. Go ahead and extend that cable. We're going to take four screws and begin assembling the triple pedal unit to the side panels. If we lift up a side panel and the triple pedal unit slides on the bracket. You can secure it to finger tension using the screws. Repeat that same step on the other side, again tightening the screws to finger tension. Now rotate the completed stand forward. Take the backboard and lay it down on the back of the stand, lining up the holes with the brackets on top. Grab the two screws and again insert to finger tension. Now take the group of four screws and do the same across the bottom of the back panel.
Use your Phillips head screwdriver to put these four screws in loosely at first. Once they're all in, now go back and retention all six screws using your screwdriver. Next, rotate the completed stand into the upright position. Go back and retension the triple pedal screws using your screwdriver. Here is your completed stand. We recommend using a partner to lift the piano section on top of the completed stand. Grab the remaining screws to secure the piano section to the stand. Again, finger tension at first, and we'll go back to retension them with a screwdriver after. Next, insert the cord from the triple pedal unit into the jack on the back of the piano section. Plug the AC adapter into the piano and the power cord into the AC adapter. Yamaha provides two optional cable clips. You can use these to secure the cables from the power cord and the triple pedal unit. There's also an optional headphone hook. A few finishing touches now. Remove the foam from the back of the music rest. Remove the foam and the tape from the keys. as well as the protective strips. This completes the assembly of the piano. Now let's assemble the bench. Carefully open the bench box.
Remove the packing material and then remove each of the four legs. Remove the remainder of the packing material and pull the seat section out of the box. Unwrap the seat. Use the included wrench to secure the legs to the bench. First remove the nut and the lock washer. Then slide the bolt through the hole, put the lock washer on first, and secure the nut. Repeat with the other three legs. Now use the included wrench to tighten all four nuts. We recommend saving the wrench in case it's ever needed again. And that completes the assembly of your bench. Once your piano is in its final location, rotate the adjuster until it's in firm contact with the floor. And this completes the assembly of your Clavinova CLP525. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact Kraft Music.